today we are going to remove a uh, Bravo 3 uh, outdrive. Yep, a Mercruiser Mer Bravo 3 stern drive. Yeah. This is a great project. Yeah, this should be fun. All right. In this moment, the boat is on the trailer. Correct. And what is the first step, Danny? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the nose down so that way I can get more more space more space to work it. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's simple because we we down here, no? Yeah. All right. We just go down. All right. Down, 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 down. Okay, so now that we move the trailer down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the stern drive all the way down into this position. Go ahead, Alvaro. That's good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna straighten it as much as possible. That's good. And the reason we do that like that is so it's straight. So when we pull the drive, it'll pull out straight. And then we use this tool here to, so we don't have to manually lift it, we bring this down, okay? A little more. A little bit more? Yeah. Okay, so that's good for right now. All right. So now, what we're gonna do is take we these off. We are going to remove uh, uh, yep. Let me get my the actuators. Those are the butchins. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to remove those bolts. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready, now that we took the the, the, the ramrod that holds it for the trimming up and down. Now we're gonna take out these 5 8 bolts to remove it. Now remember, this is a Bravo system, okay? A Bravo, you do not need to put it in forward gear. So we don't have to put it in forward gear, so now we're gonna extract it. Yeah, this is in, in neutral. Okay, Alvaro, so now the next step we're going to do is when we move this, you'll see that the shift rod Correct. Has, has a little it, grab. Yeah. So you're going to unlock it unlock in order it. to pull it out. Perfect. That, okay. that, uh, those grabs uh, receive the cable. Right. The cable for, uh, for the shift control. Right, because the shifting mechanism is on the top it's side. Top, it's here. Compared to the alpha, the shifting it, mechanism it's in the is down below. It's in the That's the cable. That's the shift mechanism that we are going to remove right now. A little open. This is the cable that is coming from uh, from the control on the console. In this moment, it's open, no, Danny? Yeah, it's open. I'm gonna show you what it looks like closed. That's what it looks like closed. In that moment, it's closed. Yeah. It's closed. Perfect. And uh, we are going to we're gonna open it now. And so how we open it is we lift that little tab up, and then now it should pop out. See how the cable just popped out? Yeah. It popped out there. Okay? Now we're going to remove the drive. Like that. Okay. 
So this is that shifting mechanism we were talking about. It closes and it opens. That's open and close. Open and close. And receive this cable. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. That's the mechanism. Look at the pipe for the flow of raw water. The gasket here is important because this is a uh, this is the flow of raw water and those are the bellows those are the bellows and this is the the input chaff those are the bellows no Danny yeah this is the bellows and here's your gimbal bearing this is what we need to use to do the alignment okay so if you we'll look at the drive in a second but you have to have the alignment tool go in there and we're gonna do a demonstration to show how that's done and that has to align the coupler with the gimbal bearing to the drive shaft Correct. on the on the uh, stern drive. Right now we are going to introduce uh, the alignment tool to demonstrate to our student the procedure. Yes. Uh, Danny, this is the gasket that is very important, no? Yeah, the gasket is actually on the drive. Let's look at the drive. So you have one one that goes around here to seal this from water getting in the shift cable. And, and they all have one. one to seal the water passage that feeds to the motor. Correct. Now, Correct. this is an old system. The, old, the newer system is a little different. The old system has an insert which you screw into the hose and yeah. it expands the hose uh, out. Uh -huh. What happens, there's another one in the drive the draw on the transom assembly and what happens with time salt builds up in there and it crushes and it. crushes yeah and then you can and you, you don't get water correct, and you have overheat correct issues. correct correct this is a very very common problem no? yeah which we think that this this boat probably has that problem oh really we're gonna end up pulling the motor out out of this boat and when we do that we'll, we'll show some video on that as well oh, okay and uh danny um <laughs> the exhaust system no yep the exhaust comes right through the through the white pipes from the risers and manifolds to the white pipes to the exhaust bellows correct and then it's pushed out through the prop correct it is this exhaust we are going to refresh this is the gasket the gasket that we've mentioned before with danny that is critical and this is the other o-ring to avoid that the water enter in the mechanisms and the gases enter over there yeah and the goes prop. out in, into the propeller now there's one more thing I want to show you, uh, Abru. You remember what this is for? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. That's for the little oil reservoir yeah, for the your oil gear reservoir, case. Yeah, for the right. gear case. So yeah. there's on the newer style they have a little reservoir on the engine that keeps full. So if this uh, the driver runs low oil, it has a feed. So when you press this, oil enter. See, oil's dripping out. Correct. Uh, Danny, can you repeat uh, the, the function of that uh, uh, fitting? So on the motor itself, it has a little little reservoir, and that's for your oil. It has an alarm. Uh -huh. So if you have if you have for whatever reason is leaking oil, it's, it consumes that oil. It'll sound off an alarm Correct. saying that you're low on oil. Correct. You shouldn't be low on oil. So there's a problem. Uh -huh. So they'll give you an indication before before you didn't have the bottle, and it would just blow up oh, if you didn't have oil unless yeah, you checked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one kind of keeps it full, and it gives you an indication. And this is the oil reservoir that you have in the transom inside of the boat. Yes, yeah, this on the like transom like or like sometimes on top of the motor in front of the motor yeah i remember that correct okay perfect oh nice uh, perfect this is uh, the the reservoir for the oil the gear case oil yeah okay uh, danny uh, those actuators in this moment uh, to remove the the uh the drive the drive uh, you don't need to remove those uh, actuators no now some people do i don't yeah i'm used to doing it without yeah. it uh, you see it wasn't that difficult yeah yeah of course it's easier without a doubt if uh -huh. you had them off on the alphas sometimes you need to do because they're so close together compared uh, to the bras okay. in this particular case not because you open no. a little and that's it and that's it uh, okay perfect and uh, the only one is uh, replace the zinc no? yeah they replace the zinc there's zinc here and there should be a zinc on the bottom as well or if you have leaks here probably you need to repair the cylinders yes. or replace yeah you can replace yeah, i mean you can repair these you can buy the end caps for them and replace okay. them now if it's really pitted i wouldn't even bother i would just replace it okay perfect 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 all right danny now we are going to continue with the steam drive okay danny the most complicated part are the u, u joints. joints correct uh yeah because it's 360 yeah. uh the alignment of this this is the difficult yeah part. because this is what you're trying to align correct and what happens when you turn the motor Let's just say you're turning the motor, this stays straight all the time, and this is the only thing that pivots. Ah, so that's okay. how it pivots from one side to the other. Correct. Now, Correct. if you have bad gimbal bearings or bad U joint bearings, you'll hear a rumbling sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, when when we take the alpha drive off, it has that problem. So we're gonna run the engine so you can hear it before we pull the oh, drive. Oh, okay. And then we don't even know what's inside there because so this is the first time that we're gonna pull this drive out. So we'll, you and I will figure out what the problem is. Yeah. Uh, 
there are uh, a couple of uh, O-rings. Yes. Uh, what is the function of those O-rings? It's just to keep water from moving in in different areas. It, it, yeah, this goes into the coupler. It's just a little bit of a seal. To protect the chaff. Yeah, to, no? the to protect the chaff. But no matter how much you say, you still get corrosion. Uh, Danny, I removed uh, a couple of years ago uh, one uh, unit like this, and those splines are twisted. Yes, that's usually because they hit something. Uh, some okay. jam, because what happens is, uh, especially with stainless steel props. See, with aluminum prop, you really won't get that. Uh -huh. Only because the aluminum prop would give. Yeah, because it's like a fuse. No? Right. Because the stainless steel prop is not 100% stainless it, it, steel. Correct, correct, correct. So it's got some stainless steel, the coating, but it has more steel on the inside. Uh, okay. So when it hits, it's unforgiving. So the weakest link is your splines. And you twist it. Or you might snap the shaft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the two things that could possibly and happen. In that case, you you damage the... Yeah, in that the, case, it's big yeah. money. Yeah, it's big this, money. if you twist the shaft, no big deal, you because you can replace, replace this, that this one. one section. Okay. Correct. Yeah, you order this one, and you only replace yeah. that one. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, what is the next step, then? All right, so now we're going to get the alignment tool, okay. and I'm going to show you how to align it. First, we're going to make it out of alignment, okay. so you can see what it's, how it's difficult. Perfect. Okay. All right, we are going to verify the alignment. Danny, the alignment tool is basically a replica of the original chaff, no? Absolutely. The only difference is it doesn't have spline. We don't need the splines. We Correct. just want to align it. But that's exactly what you said is right. Uh, it's a replica. All we're doing is making sure that if this goes in smoothly, this will go in smoothly. Ah, uh, correct, correct. And have a uh, different diameters depending on the boat, no? Depending on the boat, correct. Ah, uh, correct. Okay. And uh, the secret, I suppose, grease. grease. A lot of grease. Absolutely. So, okay. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of alignment. Okay. It's just with the gimbal bearing. Obviously, I'm not going to mess with the motor. And then we're going to try to realign it. Okay. okay. We are going to... Uh, modify the situation in this moment is fully aligned it perfectly and, uh, we are going to move it a little correct. and we are going to realign again correct perfect all right so what i like to do is i like to put grease a lot of grease okay because okay. it gives me an indication it'll actually show the grease will show the splines in the coupler uh -huh, uh -huh. and then i know it's lined yeah now if one side shows splines and the other one smush then you know there's two it's not aligned correct ah, of course yeah yeah that's what the grease is for that's perfect that's perfect so then i just go like this and we just put it all over, just nice and thick. Don't be shy. Lithium grease. Yeah, lithium grease. In this case, I use axle grease. It's just for only for uh, purposes of aligning. Okay, okay, perfect. So now what I'll do, let me get the hammer. So right now, I line it up like this. If you come in here like this. So you're going to line this up, and you're going to put it in there. See, right now, it won't go in. So what I do is... I'll just tap it a little bit to get it lined. See, it's lined up a little bit. I hit like this, like this, like this, like this, and then I go. See, uh, now if it was tight and I couldn't uh, turn it, it's not aligned properly. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And then I pull it back out, and I should be able to put it right back in. Oh, with okay, perfect. And it comes out, and you can see why I twisted it. You can see the splines. Yeah, I see the splines. That's, That's only because I twisted it out. I, I, yeah, correct. So I'll do it again so you can see the splines without uh, twisting it. And we show to the student the splines. All right. Danny, this is a great explanation. Okay, you twist it. See the splines? Perfect. Those are the splines. Okay. Now you know it's aligned properly. This, this is an indicator that uh, it's uh, properly aligned. Correct. Now, when this is in here, okay, let's say you did the hammer deal and it's tight. So uh, okay. I, I remember, all the time with the with the front motor mounts, because uh, the rear motor mount, the motor mounts close to the transom are fixed because they, they pivot on the, on the bolt. Yeah, if you look at the video up top, you'll see that they're all stationary. Correct. Correct. All right. Okay, in this moment is align it. Yep, and now we're ready to put the drive in when we're ready. Danny, this is not complicated, no? No, it's not. It's just, you know, you just got to have a, a system, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, my system is I take these off, and then I take the bolts off, and I set the tool so I don't have to lift it so much, and then that's it. And then you line it just the way I showed you. All right, perfect. Okay. 